Um, I don't think I'd be any help in that department. Floofy said I was about as useful as a beaker without a bottom. Nice night out. Greet. Absolutely not. Whatever scheme my sibling put you up to, it certainly won't end well. Ah, chum. Good to see you on this ordinary tyranny-free day. Let us talk pleasantly of the weathers. I've discovered something terrible. My seismic readings show that activity in the mountain is growing stronger and more frequent over time. We must find the source of the quakes before the situation grows out of control. There is an unusually large bug snack on the mountain that I'm certain is involved. The formidable Scoopy Banoopy. Disassemble it and dispose of the components in my mouth, and once more we will have thwarted the Grumpanati. <laughs> oh! Well, Floofty's fun to gab with, but their methods are pretty extreme, don't you think? Oh, not too bad. Actually, would you mind helping me out here? I dug up this journal out in the canyon. It's, um, a record of historical landmarks and bug snacks. I want to follow in the writer's footsteps. So, uh, if it's not too much trouble, would you want to go exploring with me? Oh, you're too kind. The first place of note is in Flavor Falls. Meet me there whenever's good for you. <laughs> Alrighty, what we're looking for is a big stone grumpus face and a bug snack called a pinkle. Let's look around. would be the work of the ancient stone grumps, a civilization from over 5,000 years ago. All that's left of them is statuary and some puzzling mechanisms. Unlike the desert grumps, these folks didn't preserve their dead. In fact, the writer thinks they would sacrifice them to the bug snacks, like an offering to the gods and whatnot. This means bug snacks may be a more lasting legacy than any of the stuff they built. Oh! Oh, wow, that's a good one. You might have noticed pinkle statues scattered around here. These must have been an important food source to the ancient grumps. Well,. I was hoping to find a camp of some sort, maybe a corpse or two. But oh well, there's plenty more spots to check out. Let's head back to Snacksburg for now.
having trouble with your pets there? Shut it, Wambus. My little ones are just excited to see me. That's so. Bet it's easy to keep them in line when they're half your size. What are you saying? You really love bug snacks so bad? Go big or go home. You... Oh, go on back to your cactus, you old coot! Thank you kindly. I'll get those bug snacks growing. You'll see. Once. So it is! The toxins are no more. <gasps> One is pure. One would never be tempted by such poison. This is why one sits in meditation every day for six hours, repeating the mantra. Don't think about bug snacks, don't think about bug snacks, don't think about bug snacks. And so it is, one never thinks about bug snacks. Ever the sun rises, ever are more toxins left to be purified. In dreams each night, one sees inch wraps, cheeses, and peel bugs. This vision must be the will of the mother. So it is. You must bring them to the box of purity. <laughs> Huh? <laughs> All right. Floofty looking for someone to snack on? LOL JK, but seriously, no. Oh, bestie! I was just looking for you. Now that Wiggle's back, Snacksburg is finally interesting again. I'm in the mood for some snacking and snooping. But like, everybody here gets all quiet when I'm around. But they trust you, right, bestie? So here's what I'm thinking. You dig up dirt on Wiggle and share it with me. And maybe I'll tell you something good in return. <laughs> what? As expected. My name alone is enough to frighten them off. Hardly. It's not me they're truly afraid of. They give in to cowardice and ignorance because they cannot fathom the tremendous good that my research can do. Since I have failed time and again to change their minds, the burden rests on me to complete the work. Perhaps then they will understand its value. As for you, I require enough bug snacks to fully transform my body. Only the sweetest and most filling will be acceptable. Consider it a personal request. This could be my last meal after all. <laughs> Weevil, don't be shy. Come on, come on. Wiggle needs a midnight snack. <gasps> Darling, what are you doing here? Uh, well, I'm just looking to spend some time with Gramble. Alone. Hey there. Sando. <laughs> Sando. <laughs> Oh, I can feel the harmony building within me, but I'm still not quite there. I'm sure this seems excessive, but it's just, it's the, it's the creative process. 
Do you know how I wrote Do the Wiggle? I stumbled into the studio two hours late. I hadn't slept in five days, and I was holding a banjo for some reason. I couldn't remember my own name, much less what I was going to sing. So in my haze, I just made it up on the spot. Two weeks later, I had a platinum record, and apparently I'd invented banjo pop. Needless to say, it's been a hard act to follow. Darling, are you ready to help me top the charts? Triffany told me about a bug snack in the desert that only appears during the full moon. A creature in tune with the cosmos. Something that beautiful must also be significant, no? <laughs>
want something? Great work, pal. Now hand it over and watch me work. Oh, oh, oh man, I am stuffed thanks to my friend here. I couldn't eat another snack. Guess I'll just throw away this delicious buffalo kist. Did you say buffalo kist? Oh, hold on now, Cromdo. I'd be happy to take it. Take it? I don't do charity, Triff. Uh, what do you want for it? Well, I happen to be in a market for a treasure map. Never mind. See ya. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> What's the deal here? I'm not letting a crook like you get a hold of that map. You'll just swipe the bug snacks and sell them off. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. I, 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 I... Yep. According to the journal, this time we're heading for the Boiling Bay. Another log. Nothing yet. Fire. Think something might be wrong with the soil. Too dry or maybe too wet. Either way, something needs fixing. Why don't you fetch me a big old fibrous bug snack, like a spuddy? I got a plan. Ah, behold the stars above. Help. I hate to say it, but Wambus has a point. Bigger snacks means more to love. And they might be a bit smarter. Might respond better to my training, too. Please get me the biggest, snackiest bug snacks you can find. Please? <laughs> Here it comes, the ballad of a generation. Bug snacks, bugs snacks on the island in my mouth, so tasty. Well, that's all I have so far. It's a work in progress, but what do you think? Don't patronize me, darling. The truth is written all over your face. I don't know why I bother. I know I don't have any real talent. My whole career was an accident. <sighs> Sorry, darling. I need to be alone for a while. <sighs> Behold the stars above. Peace. against the darkness. Nice night out. to play nice and fair, I get a door slammed to my face. Yeah, well, if Triffity thinks I'm a crook, I'll show her a crook. We're gonna steal that map. Meet me outside her hut. Midnight. No cops. <laughs> All right, pal, here's the plan. I'll keep watch and turn away any looky-loos while you sneak upstairs all quiet-like and nab that map. Got it? Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. No, I'd do it myself. Believe me, it's just that uh, I got this uh, this condition where I'm deathly allergic to uh, to jail time. Yeah, don't sweat it, pal. You'll do great. Oh, what was that? Cactus? Okay. Good night. 
Okay, okay. Oh, 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 nice job! Easy as pie. Look, I'm not a bad guy. When I got my bug snacks, I'll pay Trifity back way more than this is worth. Anyway, we're gonna have to wait a while for the heat to die down. Until then, zip, 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 zip. Lip zipped, got it? Come on, Egg. You can figure this out. Just think like Liz. Ah! Stop sneaking up on me or I'll quarantine you! Well, it's a big mysterious door, and I want to open it. There's some kind of weird lock on it. Liz figured it out, but I don't know what happened to her notes. I've almost got it, I swear. I just need to get into Liz's headspace. <laughs>
Oh, oh, OMG! Sounds like Wiggle has a nasty habit. Uh, I feel bad for Gramble. Those two just aren't gonna last. In my old life, I would have killed to get dirt on Wiggle Wigglebottom. Uh, I used to take pictures for GMZ, you know. And whoever else might be buying. Oh, right! I almost forgot about that. It's easy to get caught up in nostalgia. Have you found any snack pods yet? They're the best snack ever because they don't even move. But they're a little hard to find if you aren't observant like me. There might be some hiding by my old cave. And I know a certain Grumpus who might want some. Uh, those sure are biggins. Well, no matter what the size, there's always room for more in my family. I'm sure they'll fit in just fine. <sighs> Here's What's to going our on, days. dog? Yep. According to the journal, this time, we're heading for the Boiling Bay. All righty, see you there. place, isn't it? And check out that real interesting shipwreck. If you don't mind, keep your eyes peeled for a treasure chest and a freezing cold bully of a bug snack.
settles it. This ship belonged to Grumpbeard. He disappeared at sea a hundred years ago, but I guess he wound up on Snack Tooth Island. Hard to tell what happened to him after that. His bones could be just about anywhere. It really is the saddest thing, isn't it? When nobody knows how your story ends. Isn't that nifty? Delicious! You know, Floofty's got a theory that the bigger a bug snack is, the older it must be. No telling yet how old, but imagine that snack was around in Grumpbeard's time. He could have even chased him off the beach. Fun to think about, eh? I can't find anything. She's not here either. I didn't mean to keep it from you, but that journal, it, um... It belonged to my... <laughs> See, some years ago, my grandma, Veronica Ladeblog, decided she was gonna explore Snack Tooth Island and discover its history. But we never heard from her again. That's really why I'm out here, to find out what became of her. <sighs> Anywho, that's all for now. Let's head back to town. Now, Manny, I just follow the pointer and oh! wait, come back, Manny, but Natalie stays. They left me. I guess that's just what family does. They're never around, barely ever talk to you. Then one morning you wake up and they're gone without so much as saying goodbye. I thought bug snacks would be simple. They don't have it in them to be cruel, but the cruelest thing you can do is not care at all. Oh, maybe I should pay Wiggle a visit. Uh, after I fix the fence, of course. Want something? <laughs> Ready to get rich? <laughs> Hope you got your sunglasses, pal, cause we're heading to the sizzling sands. Oh, I can smell it! This is gonna be the big one. My ticket out of this dump! And this, I won't have to work with that. Sales for the rest of my life. I'm gonna use the cash to open a little karaoke bar. 
so I can serve fancy drinks and sing as loud as I want. And I'll owe it all to Bug Snacks. Oh, and uh, you, of course. Hey, check it out. An old timey casket. Wonder if there's treasure in there. It, it, got it, got it, got it. Don't cut it. Eh, yeah, whatever. On to the real price. This is the place. Looks like we gotta do something to call the bug snack out. Should be a switch right about. Da, 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 da. Ah, here! Whoa, that is something, all right. But it looks like we still gotta blow this thing open. See if there's anything good and explosive around here. You muddy angel!
for a week, but with those new bug snacks, I can just buy new lungs. <laughs> Nice work, pal. Let's go home and we'll count up the spoils. <laughs> 